touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, it's Watson. It's complete. Stills. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. On first and ten, Watson. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Kenny Stills, 38 yards. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. The fly route works for the TD ground. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This is fielded at the goal line. And an alley to run. The 40, 30, past the 20. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Officially an even 100 yards coast to coast on the kick return as the Ravens push further out in front. A big time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your <laughs> friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Tucker now to add the point after. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17 to 6. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Watson on first down. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, 75 yards as his guys are back within a single score. 
No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are too. We got a ball game again after that big time strike. Big time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. A big spot now for the Texans as they'll try for two. Watch 36, 36 to my Out of the gun, Watson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Let's go. Let's go. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Right now clinging to a one score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're gonna gain yardage how would you say it? Consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Throwing on second and 14. Jackson escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Jackson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. So here we go, the offense is gonna stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Jackson throwing on fourth down. Check, crush, crush, crush. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you... Lamar Miller! Touchdown, Houston! Lamar Miller, 54 yards, and the Texans have taken the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. 
Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. 23 yards to pick up there. They'll run on first down. It's Ingram. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, you should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Flushed out right. Oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Here's Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he'll be down deep into Houston territory. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Now it's Watson. Being chased out left. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. Watson now to throw. And a catch made by Hopkins. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Watson now 10 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. Now Watson. Buying time to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. DeAndre Hopkins once again the intended target, but it's going to be second down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. I'm getting four. 
back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Houston.